Hi everybody, good morning. Uh, uh, let's start this new room, T-Shark Challenge number 2. Uh, we have a pickup file, we give us here a pickup file, and there's a set of equations that we need to do. IP, DNS, file download, and things like that. The interesting room to look for is this T-Shark wireless feature CLA, give you most of the command, uh, like statistic, like for example, endpoints communication, we can check that one, for example, rest uh, T-Shark, uh, minus R directory, uh, what, minus Z, and... Uh, points did did uh, my uh, my so let's say ip not too much quite we get the ips we see some communication part of the ip we, we detect later on i think is this one um yeah there's a couple of things we can do statistic things then you have uh, this dns tree um uh, no, no, no. HTTP sequence, and then you have this one. Uh, we use this one later on. Okay, let's start with the the the, the first question. The first question asks you, uh, what is the name of the malicious suspicious domain? So basically, a user visit domain. So how to find what domain the user visit? Basically. Uh, domain visits should be by by dns so basically we need to query we need to to, to query the dns uh, query name and then fields uh, we need to fields and we extract in dns dot query query dot name if we look this is all domain but we need to be faster so we can say sort and give me unique and then we have so this one is Microsoft is fine, Bing look fine, Digiset look fine, Microsoft fine. This one look interesting. So if we go there, and we come to virus, oh, I already start with it, but let's. Uh, if you come to virus total and say what's that, virus also automatically flag it as suspicious. So now we know this one. If we continue investigation and we see more detail later on, but for now let's start slow. So we know that. Now, then let me ask you, what's the total number of HTTP requests sent to the malicious domain? So we need to know which, which uh, flag we can use to uh, count this HTTP request. The, uh, they give us the hint is to use HTTP request for URI. So this one, we can count them. So if we have that, now we can say, OK, give me this. Uh, so long. Uh, What's wrong? Uh, T shark, we go back directory, and then we can say, okay, give me the field. No, same as what they tell us now is the HTTP request uh, full uh, URI. And then because we already know the domain name now, so we can say contain uh, this domain that we have here. So we filter in on that, and then uh, we get the fields, and we extract in uh, the, the this uh, uh, this URI because that's the one we're looking for. We suppose to to make sure our command is working. Uh, let's see, it gives us all that, and then we can be for continent. We just say minus C minus L. And it gives us the answer for 14. Is that our answer? So let's do that. The next question is what IP address was a malicious domain? We already have a domain, so domain was there, so it means the user did DNS request to us. When you get the DNS back, you get IP. So if we query the uh, the, the T-Shark in the DNS query, we should get our IP from it. So um, Uh, minus y, uh, we query the DNS dot query name. We know what we're looking for is for the domain is we know it already is uh, this one. So we know the domain. It's uh, it's a, a dom uh, the, uh, no hold on that space here so we don't have problem. Uh, 
uh, we, ha we have the domain and then we can say uh, because domain exists so the flag uh, in a response uh, it should be one and then uh, just make it nicer as usual the T fields uh, for the IP we can use DNS A uh, I think so that's it what did it space where do you see this T shake directory minus oh my T fields and then we got minus E uh, uh, yeah so we got a response so it means the query the response is one the user query the domain and then you got the, do, uh, the IP back which is this one and then it's also the thing so we need to put that little little things there uh, no the next question what's the server info uh, sequ uh, info for the suspicious domain so we know the domain now we need to know, find the and let's say uh, what we can do uh, I almost forgot now minus r the directory field uh, we can yeah, we can use the same we did. Uh, that, no, HTTP request contains, uh, for example, um, let's say contain uh, the website that we always we have. What's the website? HTTP. I think we need to backslash it otherwise we'll, uh, we have problem with error in shell uh, the T fields I want to extract is the yeah, we're looking for the server so we can go HTTP server that's what I'm looking for so I'm looking for HTTP request only that contain the domain that we have and I want to see the HTTP server what's what's the HTTP server and now we got the HTTP server so we can know it's this one otherwise we can do uh, the same as this for example No, here you you detecting the name already. Uh, I don't know why I didn't finish this room. Uh, t -t 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 object. Where is that follow things? Yeah, it's like you're following uh, a, a traffic. So if we test this. Let's see if we, let's see if we do the uh, the follow thing. So if you go to T shark um, minus R the, uh, the the file and then uh, minus Z uh, follow TCP uh, let's say give me uh, C characters assume it's zero uh, give me Q. So if we, if you look here you can. Uh, you can see the server name already here it's all there so you can see from the f the flow of the information and this is later we need this one now so we can give you also the, the name of the server here so we can have it now so, uh, uh, in the next question it say uh, follow the the axi remember here we did zero because basically the first one is always zero so we are not uh, get that there so we can go there he said uh, what is the number of the listed file so listed file if you go to the HTML you can see this part index of this is the title of the page so if you read where this is an image that's where the list start uh, where is the list start 
the list file this this is the first link then we have this two this is so the first one is this one last modified what the name so when it's not clear HTML I'm confused now uh, let's do this quickly uh, sometimes no this one it's uh, vim index.html I don't need to write the whole HTML, just uh, say Firefox index. Let's see, uh, look it nice. So, if you have this, you can see one, two, three. So, you, you know that the list file are three of them. So, if you got lost, so and then you tell you, and uh, what is the file name? The, f uh, the first file is, you can see it's 123.php. So you can just say 123 and then dot and then dot php. No, no, I'm confused. Uh, this one. And then it tell you explode uh, the, the all, uh, export all HTTP traffic object. It already tell to export. Now, um, If I want to export, so we go t uh, let's create a directory for our uh, make directory for example, uh, make directory export. Let's say we have t shark minus r our directory, and then uh, if I want to export, so what's the command for export? Uh, uh, export uh, dash object objects I'm exporting HTTP uh, to my export folder let's see what he's doing okay if I go to CD export I find all these files and basically he said uh, ex and then the question what what is the name of the downloaded executable file y yeah it, you can see it's only one thing here it's, uh, dot xe so the rest is php things so it's not interesting so we can guess it's the oh, defunct everything is defunct hold on a minute uh, and then tell you what's sha 256 sum to vlot uh, now we got the sha 56 uh, that's sha 56 so not doing mistakes it give us the answer and then he said uh, what, uh, now we go to our friend uh, search the question is what's the what the PID usually is the first in details PID Paka is this one And then what does last ten box flag that is the last box flag part is I think it's in behavior behavior send box behavior tag dynamic and is send box detection uh, last line flag this is as malware Trojan and then you guys you finish the room and yeah so i hope i was able to explain it as much as i can thank you very much guys uh yeah have a good day and enjoy your day thank you very much